guys! If you don't already know by now, last month my mom and I took a 10 day tour through Gate One Travel to Ecuador. Two out of the 10 days were spent in the Amazon rainforest. And for those of you who know me, and for those of you who don't, the Amazon rainforest has been on my bucket list since I was about 10 years old. So to be able to go to the Amazon rainforest, I'm getting goosebumps right now because I was literally like a little kid in a candy shop. I was just so excited, looking forward to the adventures that awaited my mom and I. And I'm so excited to be bringing you this video because the Amazon rainforest is one of the most spectacular places I've ever traveled to in my entire life. So bear with me as we rewind to last month, the two days that I spent in the Amazon, and join me on my adventure. Our day started off by taking a three and a half to four hour bus ride from Thermas de Papayacta, the thermal hot spring hotel we stayed at the night before, down the Andean mountains, all the way to the Amazon rainforest. Our bus ultimately stopped on the Napa River at a boat dock where canoe taxis were waiting for us. Now just because we were in the Amazon rainforest doesn't mean that we were on the Amazon River. We were actually on the Napo River, which happens to be a tributary that runs into the Amazon River itself. Looking around us and seeing the vegetation that lined the Napo River was spectacular. It was so green, so dense. I have been waiting for this my entire life. After taking about a 15 minute canoe taxi ride upstream, we finally pulled up to our next destination, Casa del Suizo. La Casa del Suizo is this beautiful Amazon rainforest lodge. It sits overlooking the vast and beautiful surrounding tropical rainforest. Once we finished walking up the hill to the resort, everyone settled in, got a drink from the bar, sat by the pool, and just took in the beautiful view. We had a few minutes to just kick off our shoes, relax, head back to the bedroom, and I took full advantage of the hammock. Before we knew it, we were well on our way to our first excursion in the Amazon. We are gonna get in a motorized canoe. And take about, what, like a 10 to 15 minutes? ride down the river. Yep. We are going to visit some indigenous people and see their way of life. We're gonna get a blow dart lesson, which I'm really excited about. We might eat some bugs, which... <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> it's beautiful here. The Amazon is unlike anything you've ever seen before in your life. And I'm just excited to spend at least two days here and then really experience the Amazon with the indigenous people today. We were in our motorized canoes for a good 10 minutes before pulling up to a shore of an island smack dab in the middle of the river where we were greeted by Kichwa children with handcrafted gifts. They then led us on about a five minute hike through the forest until we finally came across the Kichwa village. Visiting the Quechua village was a lot of fun because we got to try the indigenous foods and drinks. And not only that, but we got tribal face paint because we were going to be participating in a blow dart competition. It was also really cute because one of the Quechua girls really loved playing with my mom. Yeah, and now it's twirling, that's not uh, fair. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. After spending a few hours at the Quechua village, it was finally time to get back on our motorized canoes and head back to our hotel for a food demonstration. We just
just got back from visiting an indigenous Quechua family where we learned a little bit about their culture, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, and got a little blow dart lesson. I failed, my mom failed, but it was still fun nonetheless. Now we're back at the hotel getting ready to do an exotic food demonstration. I can only imagine what kind of foods we might be trying this evening. We learned so much about the native foods. Not only did we learn about it, but we got to try it as well. From fish, to the iron palm, to beetle larva. Yes, that's right, beetle larva. After talking myself up to doing it, I finally caved in. Ready? All right. Do you have the head no, no. You, you just pop it I in. Have the head. Do it without I'm thinking about it. That's the best work. part. One, two, three. three. Go. Yay! Oh. Salty? Yeah, a little salty. There's some different flavors in there. After a long day, it was finally time to kick back and relax. Stay tuned for part two of my adventure in the Amazon. We're getting that much closer to being behind the Devil Cauldron waterfall. We have a few more steps to climb, another cave to crawl through. I'm so excited. Just a few more steps. Ah. Oh, we did it! 